Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, today, there's uh, my little slacky dog. Today, I might have uh, asked for something that I'm regretting. I asked for half a case of mushrooms for where my girl works because I wanted to make marinated mushrooms. But this is a shit ton of mushrooms. So I'm going to make marinated mushrooms and probably some other type of mushroom. Alright, step one. Put them in the sink and wash them. And wash the shit out of them. I'm going to fill it up with cold water. I'm going to swash them around with my hands. And then I'm going to... And then I'm going to cut them down to size and put them in the sink and wash them again. Alright, this faucet takes way too long. So I went outside and grabbed this. So I can get a good wash on these. I don't understand why the pressure outside is so much better than... The pressure inside and then where'd all the pressure go okay stand by okay i'm back the hose is pink look how much nicer this stream is it's not even all the way up oh that's perfect see these commercial or residential kitchens are garbage man everyone should have a, a semi-commercial kitchen in their house okay so now the mushrooms are washed they're pretty damn clean. I probably don't need to wash them again, but look how much nasty came off of there. So now I'm going to drain this. And fill it back up with clean water and chop some of the bigger ones down here and get them ready for uh, cooking. All right, so I'm cutting them up into smaller pieces and I have a long way to go. So now I got a hot pan going. I got about half of them chopped up for marinated this half probably to saute or bake in the oven i got infrared thermometer here hold down the infrared see how hot it is it says high so it must be really hot so i'm going to add some olive oil to this pan now about that much now i've added some mushrooms and i'm going to add some more all right so i got this many mushrooms are sauteing and i'm going to add some salt and pepper all right so these are all the spices that i've added and I'm probably gonna put some wine in there too. Okay, so they're starting to reduce. Just let them reduce. And then I'll probably add one of these two wines in there. All right, so now I'm gonna add, I've decided on white cooking wine. Just add it right to the mushrooms like this. Let it come to a boil again. Let it reduce. And you can pretty much eat them just from there. Or you could do more. Maybe I'll think of something. But for now, there you go. Just let, bring them back up to a boil, let the liquid reduce, and that's it. Maybe re-season it if it needs more seasoning. So, salt, pepper, white pepper, garlic, salt, uh, I think it's parsley garlic salt. I've been falling in love with that lately. And white cooking wine. That's it. That's your sautéed mushrooms anyway. So, moving on to the marinated. I grabbed a big pot and I'm, I put my... Uh, Cut up mushrooms in there. I'm gonna add water, salt, maybe a bay leaf, and boil them for about 20 minutes. Okay, so I've added some of this garlic pepper seasoning. It's right there. A bay leaf, or two bay leaves. Two bay leaves. And a little bit of white wine, and I'm gonna let it boil for about 20 minutes. I also, I also move these over to the other burner to reduce. They're reducing really good. And uh, when it reduces all the way down, Hopefully all that will turn into like a glaze and it'll be a nice white wine reduction sauce with these beautiful button mushrooms. Alright, so now it's reduced almost all the way down. I've added a lot of the liquid that was in here into the yeast to add it, give it more flavor. I went to the garden, I found three nice ripe cherry tomatoes and some uh, sweet basil and Greek oregano. I added that to it. I'm going to let it get hot again. And then I'm going to add a little bit more wine. Alright, so now it's hot again. I'm gonna add a little bit more wine. That's it. Let that dissipate. Or whatever the word is. Dissipate, I believe. And add salt if you want more salt, but that's pretty much it. I've been tasting them as the video's been going on, and they're amazing. Alright, meanwhile, I'm still waiting for my uh, other mushrooms to start boiling. So these are done. They look beautiful. We get a good still shot of those. Another one here. And these are just starting to do a little something. And it's still going to be at least 20 minutes, 25 minutes before these are done. Okay, so I've been playing a little bit of virtual pool. While my mushrooms boil. And here they are. Still not really 
boil them. Oh, they're getting there. So I'm gonna let these boil in maybe another two, three racks of nine ball and get back with you. Okay, now we got a really good rumble going. And all that, you can smell the wine and the seasonings in there now. Just let those boil for about, I don't know, 10 more minutes. All right, they've been cooking for about 20 minutes now. Now I'm going to drain them into the sink, into this big plastic colander I found. Okay, so now I'm going to let them drain really, really well. You can see there's barely, it was almost a whole sink full. Now there's barely any in there. So I'm going to let them cool off, get real dry, and I'm going to put them back in the big pot they were just in. All right, so that's what the mushrooms are reduced down to. I tasted one of them. They're very, very bland. So now I'm going to add olive oil. I'm just going to coat it really nicely with olive oil. Okay. And then I'm going to add vinegar. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, red wine vinegar and a little bit of white vinegar and some white vinegar. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna add some of this garlic parsley salt. I like the, I like my stuff salty. And I'm gonna add some white pepper. White pepper. A little bit of that. And maybe some regular salt. And I'm gonna stir it up with a spatula. Stir, stir, stir. And that's pretty much all you have to do. And then put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate. The longer it marinates, the better it is. All right, so here's the finished product. I put a bunch of the marinated mushrooms in a jar, filled it up with marinade, put the rest in here, and then you need the saute mushrooms. And you just take these, put them in the fridge, and when you want to make a salad, throw some of them on there. Uh, you can eat them just as snacks. They're really good for you, supposedly. Only thing bad in there really is olive oil if you consider that bad. So there you go. Marinated mushrooms and sauteed mushrooms. Thanks for watching. Bye.